Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. And we are tackling on the different alphabets of character. And we have just finished the letter K of character, which is kindness. And for this morning, we are going to deal with one important character. And actually, it is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And it is leadership. Leadership. Letter L, leadership. I will be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 26. And it says here, But among you, it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. God bless the reading of his word. Leadership is a gift of the Holy Spirit, as I have said. And a leader is not born to be one. He is made to be one. I would like to talk to this morning uh, to both our parents and students. Parents who have their young children, and students who are old enough to make decisions. If you want to become a leader, and you will be in your own right and in your own time, God will raise you up to be a leader of a group, a family, an organization, or even a nation. Leadership only comes, good leadership only comes from God as we devote ourselves to obey and know God's word, that is where true leadership comes from. And I would like to give you today, this morning, some of the things that we have to do if we want to become a good leader someday. If you want to become a good leader, because the Lord Jesus says in the verse that we have read, that the servant of all, will be the leader of all. Number one, if you want your children, parents, to become good leaders, or if you want, you are in the higher level to become good leaders. First, we have to model as parents the kind of leaders that our children should have. You are their first models, their first teachers. Or if you are old enough, find a model of leadership that you want to imitate. Know about his principles. Know about the kinds of things that he is willing to do in order to be a good leader. Find a good model or model the kind of a good leader to other people. We have to teach our children, parents, how to see things from another's point of view. We have to learn and develop how to develop a critical mind in them. Don't just let them ask questions. Let them question their question or even the answers that they hear. Entertain the questions that they are giving to you and spend time in answering them, you see. Control is the key to learning. And when children ask, that is the time that we have control over them. You young people, whenever you hear a point of view of another person, always have that liberty to question that, especially if their point of views are against the principles of God. So we have to teach them and we have to develop critical thinking. Help our children build self-confidence. Let them know their value. Give importance to their point of views. Listen to them. Okay? We have to build that confidence in order for us to be able to to be a good leader. A good leader is a person who is solid in the foundation of the confidence that he has in God and in himself. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what to do. And if not, he is open to the the suggestions of other people. Another one is to find creative ways on how to solve the problem. And that is the real reason why we have this mathematics, these subjects about science, these problem solvings in our English. The reason is 
to develop our mind in solving problems. You see, that is the real design of learning. So that when we are face to face with the problems of life itself, we will have the training on how to solve life's problems. Develop a problem solving mentality in our children. And lastly, you see, as I have said, leadership is a gift. We have to involve ourselves in groups and in leadership. We have to take the lead sometimes whenever we are asked or we are assigned to do something. Face the challenge. Take the leadership. Because leadership is a gift. The best way for you to discover and to do that gift is by involvement. This morning, I would like to welcome the leaders of the future. Good morning. I know our nation's future is bright because you will become good leaders. God bless you. Have a good day.